All right, here we go. I'm officially ready. So we are about to embark on a fantasy landscape painting. Up to this point, most of what we've been doing has been using resources or observing our environment and observing things and creating artwork. But this time we're going to imagine. So the first step today is to use your imagination to decide for your perfect day that you're going to paint what time of day it is. So for example, you could paint during the middle of the day, you could paint sunrise, you could paint sunset. The other thing I want you to think about is the sky and the weather. Is it a blue sky day? Is it a day where the sky is blue, but there's cute puffy clouds? Is it a sunrise with no clouds? Is it a cloudy day? So today we're just going to think about the sky. And even though you're thinking a little bit about the clouds, we're really going to focus on the sky. So you have your board and your board is taped to the paper. Make sure you're always writing your name on the edge of the tape as well. Because especially after today, it might look similar. So make sure you always have your name on the board. The other decision you have to make before you paint is how you want to orient your paper and your board for your painting. Most artists, when they're doing landscape paintings, orient their paper long ways. So I did mine long ways, but you don't have to. And to save time today, we preloaded your palettes. And I actually use pretty limited colors. So over on the counter over there, there are palettes and they only have four colors on them. And many of you are only going to use two colors today. So we have our white, which you'll all use. If it's the middle of the day, you'll also need blue. But if it is the early, early morning or late, right before the sun sets or during sunset, you might need these colors. So everybody's going to use white, and then you have to decide what other colors based on your time of day. So here's my tricks to get started. I'm a righty, so I always put my paint on the right with my water. And you might need to get a couple fresh cups of water today. And the other thing that's a little wacky is I'm going to use a really big square brush today. And every day you'll have a different brush set out for you, but today we're using a square brush. And I start with my white. And I start in the middle and I'm going to go all the way from one side to the other side. And I know you can't see that, but I start on the tape and I go all the way to the other side and I lift off the tape. And sometimes I even get a little bit of water and I paint my entire piece of paper white. I know that's totally wacky. You probably can't even see this, but I'm painting my entire piece of paper white. Well, then if you want to do a blue sky day, the middle of the day, it's a really nice day. You're going to get some blue, add some water. And I actually start at the top and I go all the way from one side. I don't lift my brush up until I get to the tape all the way to the other side. And I slowly work my way down using horizontal lines. And I try to blend the blue into the white. But as I get towards the middle of the paper, oh, well, need a little more water, I kind of fade out to white. And then I do the same thing on the bottom. I get some blue. And I start at the bottom, go all the way from one corner to the other corner with my blue, get a little water, see how I'm dipping a lot. And I slowly back and forth, back and forth, kind of blend my blue into my white. And I'm going to leave the middle kind of white. So whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. And I leave the middle kind of white. And I slowly blend from a darker blue to a lighter blue to white in the middle. That's a blue sky day option. So if you want to do the middle of the day, you do all white and a little bit of blue. If you want to do maybe a sunrise or sunset, God bless you. 
you do everything almost exactly the same. So I'll try to do this next one kind of quick to show you. So you start with your brush with the white, add some water, and you paint the whole painting white. I also paint from my elbow or my shoulders when I'm doing big painting strokes like this. I know you can't see that, but I'm not just using my wrist. I'm using my whole entire arm back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then if you are going to do a sunrise or sunset, I always go from light to slightly darker. So I started with white. My next slightly darker color, in my opinion, is yellow. So I'll get some yellow. And I do the same thing as the blue, but with the yellow. So I kind of fade out. I think yellow is a little darker than white, yes. But I don't think it's a dark color now. So I kind of fade out. And then if you want to do a sunset, this is up to you. But I also get a little bit of red. Now that red's a little intense, so you might want to tone it down a little bit or a pinkish color. And you'll try to do the same thing as the blue. You try to blend the pink by going all the way back and forth into the yellow on the top. And whatever you do to the top, you got to do the bottom. So it's got to be the same on the top and same on the bottom. And if you feel like it gets too intense, you can always rinse your brush off, get a little bit more white, and just kind of lighten it up a little bit. Today, we are just doing the sky. We're not even going to think about clouds. And you want it to be kind of lighter in the middle. And whatever happens on the top, you want it to happen on the bottom as well. So you try and make it like a mirror image if you can. And you only have today to do the sky. So you have one day. Some of you will take two minutes. Some of you, it'll take a really, really, really long time. But one day.